Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that buyers held ES above yesterday's low. And uh, from there, the market simply balanced within a range. Heading into the open, we have immediate support at 2075 to 2275. Now that is an area that has been tested multiple times. So uh, off the open, if we're seeing any major warning signs, um, either via very negative internals or sustained downside momentum, then we'll have to be careful at that zone. On the upside, we have pre-market resistance at 26.75, and a breakout above 26.75 would confirm buyers in control on the smaller time frames and bring the 31.75 to 33.75 initial resistance zone into play. And uh, that's still an area where we could see responsive sellers active in the market, especially if uh, you know TF is still struggling with the 1260 to 1262 zone. Um, on the other hand, if TF completely breaks out above that area, then uh, ES would have potential to uh, break to a new all-time high. On the downside, a break below 2075 to 2275 would indicate short-term weakness in the market, and um, from there we can get a move down into the 17 half high volume node, uh, perhaps the 15 quarter naked VPOC, and those are still areas where buyers can be active but the really conservative spot then uh, is going to be the 2110 all the way really up to uh, 2113 quarter that's a very important zone in the market and uh, I expect buyers to be active there on first test and again that's a very key zone that 2110 all the way up to 13 and uh, that's a spot where uh, buyers can enter pretty aggressively and uh, move the market back up towards the 1750 HVN and the 2075 to 2275 zone. So we can get a pretty decent reaction off of 2110 to 13. Um, if we break 2110, then it would uh, definitely affect the bullish structure of the market. Uh, if you know we hold it, then the buyers can still maintain control overall on the larger time frames. But if 2110 breaks, um, at that point, it would uh, shift control to the sell side, or it would definitely open the door to uh, shift control to the sell side. And uh, that's why it's a very important area. Because as long as that area holds at 2110, you know, the overall structure of the market is still going to be quite bullish. Um, but if that zone gives way, then, you know, we can get some short-term liquidation. Um, we can even go down to 99 to 2101. Uh, probably not on the day time frame, just because uh, the range potential of the day might be a bit exhausted by then, but uh, it would at least put the market on that trajectory to uh, go down and test 99 to 2101. And uh, that's why you know we're expecting a pretty decent response if the market gets down into the 2110 to 13 zone. Um, and uh, you know, technically, given how bullish this market's been, even the 2075 to 2275 area can hold. It's just that the area has been tested several times now so um, you know the only scenario where it makes sense to initiate a long at that zone at this point is um, if there are no warning signs so if uh, you know the internals are actually bullish you know not simply hovering around uh, zero or negative territory but they're actually showing some underlying strength and uh, you know we're not seeing any major weakness on the NYC tick so um, you know, ideally, you don't even want to get like minus six, seven hundred. You want to see the market holding relatively well, and um, you don't want to see a lot of negative momentum heading into that zone. And if you do, then it's probably a better idea to uh, be a bit more cautious rather than stepping in front of it. Um, again, and we're going to time this with the other markets too. Um, as long as we're not seeing any major selling across uh, NQ and the Russell. Uh, then, you know, we can still trade initial support. But uh, if we start seeing some aggressive selling coming into NQ or TF, uh, then we'll have to skip that zone and it'll be better to wait for, uh, you know, 15 quarter, 17 half, or uh, in the event of a strong downside move, that 2110 to 12 is um, essentially an automatic fade zone in most scenarios. On the upside, uh, the 3175 to 3375 is really the primary upside objective. We have FOMC minutes out this afternoon and uh, the market may simply bounce in a range ahead of it. Uh, the FOMC minutes are not really a major market mover, but uh, 
you know, it's still a report where um, the market can balance and remain range bound ahead of it. And that's why if we do head lower, that 2110 to 12 is a, uh, you know, a very good spot to fade the market because it's unlikely that we're just going to liquidate right through that zone. Um, so overall, you know, the buyers are still more in control. They are still more dominant. And uh, for that reason, we're going to continue being more aggressive on the long side, being more conservative and cautious on any short setups we take. Um, and at the same time, you know, when we're being cautious on short side, doesn't mean just on the entry, but even on the exit, uh, you know, even if we initiate short, we're not looking to uh, get any extended targets out of it. Um, you know, we're looking for kind of quick moves on the short side, where on the smaller time frames, perhaps, uh, you know, the buyers are getting trapped, and that's resulting in some short-term downside movement. But bigger picture, as long as we're holding above 2110, you know, the buy side can maintain control, and uh, we would simply be balancing in a range at higher prices. So uh, the focus is still going to be on the long side. Uh, we'll just have to see the momentum situation and uh, just how the internals are shaping up off the open. But uh, if we're going to be aggressive, it should be on the long side in this market, given how bullish everything is. And uh, even if we see a short setup, we still have to execute it in a way where uh, you know we can get good enough location where we can still use a modest stop, two to three points, and get five to six points at least out of that trade. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see if the buy side can maintain control this morning, and we'll take it from there.